Only few magicians in the world have the ability to scare the hell out of everyone. And the supernatural tricks are the ones that freak you the most. But now it's time to breathe a sigh of relief. So, be it Sacred Rihanna's horror table floating on air, or the Brotherhood Trio putting their lives to risk. Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to figure out the secrets behind the scariest magic tricks of our times. So, let's get started. The first trick, the Mentalist Sword Trick. Imagine someone putting their lives in the hands of others. That's exactly what these three fearless masked magicians known by the name Brotherhood did on Britain's Got Talent a few months back. In this thrilling act, the group of masked men brings a sword along with them and asks Deck, one of the presenters on the show, to place a sword underneath one of the four empty carton boxes numbered 1 through 4 respectively. The magician then calls one of the judges, the crowd favorite Simon on stage, and now the real stuff happens. The magician then blindfolds Deck so that he can't see what number Simon selects. Thereafter, he tells Simon to pick three envelopes at random to decide which numbered box the fearsome trio would jump onto. One by one, Simon reveals the number, and the first two selections come out to be four and one, and the magicians jump on each of the boxes and come out unharmed. Finally, in the moment of heart-racing suspense, Simon reveals the envelope, which is box number three. The third magician jumps onto that box and all is fine, which calms everyone around. So, how did they do it? Well, the first and foremost thing is that you should never try this kind of stuff at home or anywhere else. Now, coming to the secret, the trick consists of two key questions. First, how did the magician know which box they had to jump onto? And second, how did he prevent the selection of box number two, which had the sword placed inside? Coming to the first question, the internet has a word going around that after Deck places the sword and comes on stage, he shows the magician which box not to pick by raising two thumbs up to signify box number two. But then, even if the magician knows it's box number two, how would Simon know which number is there inside each envelope, as he randomly picked the numbers? So this rules out the thumbs up case. Also, it's not always that everything is staged. Here, neither the judges nor Deck knew anything about this trick. So now, how did he find out it's number two? Well, the magician is wearing a fully covered mask and underneath them they have earplugs placed in. Now, someone backstage, probably their assistant, tells them what box number Deck chose for the sword, and this is how your mind gets tricked into thinking that it was all magic, when in fact it was a setup. Also, if you look back at the performance, the boxes are numbered on the back as well as the front. That makes it easy for someone secretly watching backstage to see which box has the sword in it. So the magician knew that it's the box number two, but still, how did he prevent its selection? Well, some would say that the magician had prepared four sets of four envelopes each, which has only three numbers written inside each envelope in the set, and each set of four envelopes had a number missing from one to four in each of the sets. For example, in this case, it was 4311 and there was no number two, and the magician placed that set into one of the four pockets inside his jacket and only picked out the one which had number two missing after knowing it. But what if Simon chose two of the same numbers in his first three attempts? So even this scenario is not possible, and there's got to be another trick behind it. And the trick is that the magician uses a gimmicked card for each of the envelopes Simon picks up, and it was not a free choice by Simon. Also, if you look closely at this frame, you can clearly see a piece of folded paper sticking out halfway down the piece of paper, folded over on the back of number three. This implies he has two sheets of paper, and he could choose whatever number he likes. And using a sleight of hand technique, he prevents the selection of number two and only shows the number which doesn't have the sword. And now you know it, the magicians jump on each of the empty cartons with nothing inside and come out all safe to end this amazing act. The second trick, the supernatural table lift. No video on scary magic is complete without the mention of one of the scariest magicians on earth known by the name Sacred Rihanna. 
On Asia's Got Talent, she performed a trick which looked supernatural and stunned everyone around. Here's what she did. She calls upon four people from the audience on stage and asks them to sit on the chairs circling the table placed on stage. Then, to the amazement of the judges, she invites Jay Park from the judges panel to be part of this trick as he sits on the fifth remaining spot. Now, all of them place their hands on the table. She then speaks about fear and grief and its relation to the dead and, all of a sudden, the table lifts up suddenly. The table then forces everyone out of the chair and starts floating in the air, which is eventually controlled by Rihanna. Once the chair settles down, she asks Jay Park about the stuff he fears the most in life. He answers that it's about happiness. Finally, the board placed on the table reveals the word unhappiness, which shocks everyone around. So, how did she do this scary act? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, let's quickly get to the secret. The trick is a combination of two parts. One, the table floating in air, and two, the mind reading part. About the first part, as you can see, the table lifts up in air. Now, there are three people out of the five who are also in on this trick. And these three people, that is, two guys and the girl wearing the black jacket, are her assistants. Now, this frame shows how the man gets ready for the lift. Look how his leg moves just before the lift. Also, if you look at the position of their seating, it's a complete triangle, which makes the table balanced in air and prevents it from tilting. Now the real secret lies hidden underneath the sleeves. Yes, it's the steel in the sleeve trick, where a mechanism is hidden underneath the sleeves of the assistants. That's the reason why they are wearing long sleeves. And this is how the mechanism works. Obviously, their hands are empty, but strapped around their wrist is a steel rod, which pulls out by a flick of a wrist and fits inside the table. Yes, the holes you see in this frame are the ones where the steel rod fits in place. So now it becomes easy to lift and move this table as it's made out of lightweight material. Finally, when Rihanna tells them to stop, the assistants shake their hands very quickly, which puts the rod back in place. Now for the next part, how did Rihanna read Jay Park's mind to know his biggest fear? Well, this feat involves the concept of mentalism, where she demonstrates extraordinary mental powers such as mind reading. Using these concepts, she must have prepared that information before the trick and made him think of unhappiness in advance. As it would be easy for her to find stuff out by looking through all of Jay's interviews he had given and searching for the answer. So, the prediction can be two ways, the power of hypnotism or the suggestion before the show. And as we all know, she is a very good performer on stage and knows how to command an audience. Finally, the board you see had the word unhappiness pre-written on it, or it could even happen that the board is an upgraded self-writing board which displays the correct word to end this amazing illusion. So finally, the last and most shocking trick on our list, cut in half illusion. Kevin James, one of the most creative minds in magic, performed this shocking illusion on America's Got Talent show. Here's what he did. Dressed as a surgeon, he brings along a chainsaw as his surgical tool, which he's going to use on his patient. Then, all of a sudden, he cuts his patient in half, splitting apart his upper and lower body. But what do we see? The patient is still alive. The surgeon then places his patient's upper body onto a surgical table. And now the real magic happens. Confirming that there's nothing in between his patient's upper body and the surgical table, he's now going to join both the separated body parts back together. So, keeping both her upper and lower bodies on a wheeled chair, he takes out some sort of a device and taps that device on the joining point just below the patient's stomach. Finally, the patient is joined together as he's seen kicking and dancing. So, how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. Let's divide the trick into two parts the cutting part and the joining part. For cutting the patient in half, the trick is that the cut in half patient was already an amputated guy from the moment he came onto the stage. So he's the torso double of the person who was dancing at the end. Also the word torso is used for people who only have a torso and no legs, maybe due to an accident or a medical condition. 
Now, when the surgical table was wheeled onto the stage, the lower half of the patient you see is actually another one of the doctor's assistants who has bent her upper torso in the surgical table's secret compartment. And as you know it, the torso double is the one who's placed on top of the assistant. And of course, the dancing guy and his torso double look similar. Now the surgeon cuts the body in half. There's no blood whatsoever. That's because the part of the body just above the hips is actually a special mannequin-like dress created using baggy clothes and a few other items. So, do you see the lower half of the body walking away? Yes, because there's another person in there. And the torso guy is the one who's on that surgical table lifting himself up with his hands, making the surgeon's job easier. Now, coming to the joining part, when it was time to put the two halves back together, Notice how the torso double and the lower half are wheeled behind the screen. Also, that lower half is just a leg prop made using baggy clothes or some other stuff. Now, at the back of the screen, a fully functional assistant who's dressed in the same costume as the torso guy is wheeled back in place of him. And this switch happened at exactly this moment, which is evident in the way the two halves are placed, which hides the stuff that's happening behind them. Also, the surgical mask which the patient wears plays a huge role, as it conceals the torso guy's face, which is why his replacement looked identical. Finally, using a magical device, the surgeon joins back the two halves, creating an amazing illusion. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of the scariest magic tricks of all time. Which trick freaked you out the most? The terrifying table lift, the mentalist sword trick, or the cut in half illusion? And name any topic other than the Magic series which you would like us to create. Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.